eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, if I remember correctly, one, the shrew fight. is uh, totally Robots autonomous. Fight. Is that right? Interesting. And I believe that the driver of the shrew is. Uh, oh my goodness, he's. He's <laughs> Shredit No has uh, has clipped off the back of the shrew's uh, screw screw like uh, wood screw. It's a drill you know? bit. Yeah, that's a drill bit. Drill bits. There you go, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, and this totally autonomous robot is just being killed right now. Yeah, it's oh autonomously goodness. chosen to die. So that is an autonomously driven brick right now, Kyle. Exactly. Oh, nope. Here we go. A little bit of motion. Yeah, it has enough motion to keep going. Interesting. So the driver of the shrew lives in the UK. Does that mean that he just had a friend drop it off in the box? I believe so. He just turns it on? Yes, I believe so. This is a, an early application of uh, artificial intelligence inside of the combat robotics box. And uh, like a lot of technologies, you know, it has uh, challenges. Yeah, you got to Early, some early stuff challenges. Out. And at some point, AI is going to uh, even take over this sport, I would anticipate, Kyle. Show motion. Yep, stuck up against the rail. And. Uh, Show Looks like motion. the shrew is stuck. And there we go. That is a knockout. The shrew has been defeated. Knockout. All right. That is a knockout. Shred it. No advances. Shred it. No. What an interesting little bot. I'm joining you in the uh, jacketless time. It's hot. It's hot. It's yeah. a little bit hot. It's hot. So it looks like we're going to be moving over into 30-pound action here pretty soon. Pretty excited about that. Kyle, you look like you wandered out of the woods, and I came in from the beach. Yeah, man. I was lumberjacking all day, and you were sipping on my ties. Yeah. Hey, listen. I, I feel like that's actually pretty close to our personality. It's pretty similar, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Like, uh, Kyle and I, we're, we're, we're friends, you know, outside of Norwalk Havoc. True. And sometimes you'll say weird things like, uh, I just want to go camping for a week with no supplies. <laughs> we, we have kids. We come pretty supplied for camping. Yeah. Pretty like, supplied. Like, I, I want to just see if I can do it, you know? Yeah, my wife and I like those kind of camping trips, the, the no supplies camping trips. All right, looks like this is the, uh, the ring spinner. And uh, what is that? Is that like a heating element? I believe that might Are be. Are they trying to like heat the uh, plastic on their wheels? Is that some kind of traction on their wheels perhaps? Yeah, you make it a little stickier if you heat it up. Let's see. And uh, what was this called? The pernicious prosciutto? I believe that is correct, yes. They're just trying to make it really difficult for us to say their names. The proper prosciutto? Oh yeah, here we go. Check and, it uh, out. Yeah, we've got like a good shot here of the pits. Everyone is frantically working. Most people have had at least one fight at this point. Yeah, everybody's got some damage to repair, except for the Ancaskis family. They are just sitting there going, well, am I going to use robot number three, robot number four? Not quite sure. And for some of these builders, they are packing up and heading home early. I hope that you, if you've been eliminated, you come and join us in the uh, the audience and come watch your uh, your brethren here. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, good shot here of the audience. Here we go. Kyle, are we gonna do the wave later? Perhaps. <laughs> should we uh, take this moment to thank yes. one of our sponsors? Yeah, we should. Um, all right, Argyle Materials. Uh, this is a sponsor for November Norwalk. We want to thank them for that. Keep 3D printing green and lower your shipping costs. Refill and reuse your OEM 3D printing cassettes and canisters with Argyle 3D printing materials. Visit argylematerials.com for more information. And thank you very much for sponsoring Norwalk Havoc. Absolutely. Now we're going into 30 pound action. This is going to be fun. So in here we have liftoff squared versus polyester. Wow. All Larger right. versions 
of smaller bots. Eight, seven, six, five. Polyester four, run by Team WPI. Liftoff two, squared, of course, one. the uh, fight. Robots fight. The robot from the Hasmers. Now the team's robot. They are they go to school at WPI. Team Ribot. Looks like polyester is just waiting here. Alright. Fluffy is here to uh, to a save. save. Yeah, they got a liftoff squared. Very delicately here, Fluffy. So delicate. Fluffy's so delicate. Much more delicate than his little brothers. There we go. All right, liftoff squared is trying to get traction inside of the box. Oddly it enough, looks like it is not working. Their square shape got them stuck in that corner. They were not able to spin because there they got their go. corner stuck into the corner of the box. That was impressive. That's it. That's, That's their, their one help is gone. That is it. Show motion. Oh, that is heartbreaking, Kyle. Interesting. And polyester could let them down, but I don't think they want to. I think they're going to take the win and not have to deal with that devastating weapon. Show I get motion. it. Show motion. Two, one, and that there is a knockout. All right. You got your one help from Fluffy, and that's all you get. The winner of that match is Polyester. Project Liftoff goes down to the loser's bracket, where they 